Hello, welcome to Asian Patriot. Today we'll be driving down south about two hours to show you Kia Bongo based camping car. We are stuck in the traffic one more time, but it seems like you guys really like the Hyundai Porsche review. So we have one more coming and thank you Jail Mobile for this opportunity. So this is it guys. This is Dream Space 9E R Plus Alpha from Jail Mobile. It's good for six people. So let's see how it is. In terms of the dimension, the builders actually took original Kia Bongo and stretched the wheelbase. Now this guy is about 6.4 meters long, which is about 32 inches longer even compared to Hyundai Forest. Price-wise, this dream space will start around 60K and go all the way up to 66K US dollars direct conversions. Solar panel and battery is optional, but still this guy is less expensive even compared to Hyundai Porus. So guys, do let me know what do you think about the pricing in the comment section. This camper has 2.5 liter diesel inside, only sold here in Korea. I'll leave a link in the description in case you guys would like to find more information about this motorhome. If you want to buy one, you should consult with your local import company, okay? And over here, we have a very large trunk space, so you can just throw all your camping equipment and this is an inverter that transforms 12 volts into 220 volt. Right there, we also have a big battery. This is actually 300 amp hours battery. With this, you can straight use the AC for five hours. You can also get it up to 1600 amp hours. And with 1200 amp hours, you can use it for straight 20 hours. And they also give you this light and this is coolant reserve because this car actually has a parking heater that heats the coolant so you can heat the interior of this car. Okay, I'll we'll talk about that a little bit later. And this is what it looks like when you close everything. And on this side, they also give you this mini shower, hot water too, so you can clean your feet before entering back into your motor home. And also you can straight plug in 220 volts so you don't have to worry about running out of batteries at the camping site, right? And right next to it, they give you a 24 inch TV, but you're supposed to be enjoying the nature, not the TV, right? We also have awning up here. It's actually four meters wide, about 2.5 inches long. We also have a LED lamp up here. You can actually use this remote to turn it on and also change the intensity. So when you're having you know, dinner, you can make it bright. When you're having campfire, you can just lower it down. That's pretty nice. We also have uh, this footrest for your princess. And this actually works with the uh, whole car's lock system. So you don't actually need to bring any additional key. And I think that's very cool. And we also have a locking mechanism up there. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's go inside. First of all, we also have uh, the screens to keep the mosquitoes away. And there's also a place for your shoes right here. So you can put them all there nicely. And we also have a bunker bed right here. You guys don't know, I'm about 6'2", and these bunker beds are good for two adults like this and I think I'll be all right on the outer side I also give you windows on either side so that's pretty nice and they also give you this screen so nobody falls down yeah <laughs> that will do oh and they also give you some storage area here and 12 volt charging, 220 volt charging, and some speakers, and lots of storage areas. Like this with the locking mechanism. And if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and also subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun. We also have uh, screens for the mosquitoes. You can also open it like this and open the windows. There's lots of windows everywhere, so it's manual, so you kind of have to 
do it manually. So it opens upward like this. So it opens quite a bit. But let's just keep it closed now for better lightning. Okay? And we also have uh, this sofa, but they give you this three point seat belt. So two people here, one over there, and three on the first row. So six people can travel safely with seat belts. And you can certainly watch TV from this sofa and enjoy your cup of tea and everything. And when you're a bit tired, you can also lower this table and make it into a bed. So theoretically, six people can sleep here, two on the bunker, two here, and two more at the back, okay? We also have a 12 volt charging here, 220 volt charging here, stereo system, that's for the uh, inverter. And these two are for the heater, for the floor and general heater. And we also have uh, water and power here. And um, this holds about 150 liter of clean water. This shows the battery and this shows the water level. And you can also use this remote and control the lights separately. So, pretty nice. Like I told you we have lots of windows all around. We also have a total of seven closets with locking mechanism and also moon lamp on the top. And we also have a small toilet right here. We also have a small faucet, shower, mirror, and window place to hang your towel. We also have a lamp plus fan on the top. And also a place to put your some towels and shampoo and everything. And this is 220 volt charging for your hair dryer. And they also have a small toilet on the bottom, but I think they place it wrong. I think it should be placed vertically like this, not horizontally, because I, I don't think I can fit in there. We also have kitchen right here, extendable, and place to wash your vegetables, lots of uh, storage area. And we have a microwave down here, and you can also get an electric stove as an option with this camping car. And also we have a vent up here, so when you're cooking, you can do the ventilation. Yeah, works nicely. We also have a refrigerator. It's about 150 liters, so it should be quite enough for six people, I think. And we also have a secret compartment that leads to that big old trunk space that we showed you from outside. And you can make this to a makeup area for your lady. We also have a air conditioning on the right top side. You can. Uh, change the uh, direction of the air and uh, like I told you with 300 amp hour battery you can straight use this guy for five hours and we also have additional bed right here which is good for two adults lots of storage area three windows all around we also have a 12 volt 220 volt charging and you can also get additional TV right here if you want and this camping car also has parking heater, so we will use the diesel to warm up the coolant so you can heat the bed, floor, and also blow out warm air. So that's, that should be very nice during the cold winter campings. So you might be curious, where's the engine? Well, don't get surprised too much because this is cab of a truck. It's actually located under the <laughs> passenger seat. Yeah, so we have to be careful about the front collisions a bit yeah okay now let's go for short drive no zero to 60 or braking time just impressions okay guys the builder said uh you know this weights about 2.9 tons which is about a ton over the original kia bongo and they said they also tuned the suspension so let's see how it drives against uh Kia Forest. First of all, visibility isn't all that bad, although you cannot see much out of this rear view meter. We have a good ones on the side. Our tester does not have it. We can also get optional backup camera. But you know, visibility is quite nice for this large camping car. 
And first thing you notice when you start driving this car is that it doesn't feel all that heavy. Like I told you, this is about 2.9 tons. And rather, when you brake, it also brakes nicely. And when you ask it to go, it just goes smoothly. And steering wheel not too heavy either. And when you turn in, it rather turns in quite eagerly too. So this is quite, I think it also handles and drives much better than the Hyundai Forest. So this 2.5 liter diesel makes about 133 horsepower, 191 pound feet of torque. Yes, it's not fast, but it's actually pulling this motor home quite smoothly and decently. Look, not bad at all. There's a Mini Cooper right there. <laughs> not bad. And gear changes do happen a bit slowly, but rather very smoothly, just getting the job done. You know, this is after all a camping car. Very nice fit though. And the ride is actually better than the Hyundai Porsche. I think because of the extended wheelbase, it's just soaking the bumps better than the Hyundai Porsche. But it feels a bit, a little bit more floaty, but I like the ride better here. All right guys, this has been our short tour of Kia Bongo based motorhome or camping car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future thank you guys see you soon stay healthy and bye bye